Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the support for G++ and GCC on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, let's open the terminal. To open the terminal, you need to click on this show apps icon and then just click on this terminal icon. And once the terminal is open, first of all, you need to give this command, which is sudo apt update and then press enter and give your password which you used to log into your Ubuntu operating system which is going to and once this command is finished we are going to clear the terminal and the second command is sudo apt install build hyphen essential I'm going to put all these commands in the description of this video so you can copy them and paste them into your terminal so let me press enter here and then press Y and then press enter once again, which is going to install this build essential package, which also includes the support for GCC and G++. So we are going to wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. So once this command is finished, we are going to once again clear the terminal. And now the G++ and GCC is installed on your Ubuntu operating system. Now, those of you who don't know what is G++ and GCC, G++ allows you to compile C++ programs on your Ubuntu operating system, and GCC allows you to compile your C program on your Ubuntu operating system. So we are going to first check the GCC version. To check the GCC version, just write GCC space hyphen hyphen version here and then press enter. And it's going to show you the version of GCC which is installed on your Ubuntu operating system once you have finished the build essential package installation. Similarly, we're going to check the G version. So just write G space hyphen hyphen version here and you can see that G++ is also available on our Ubuntu operating system and this will allow us to compile the C++ programs. Now once you see some kind of version in the G++ and GCC version commands, let's create some sample code and try to compile and run it using those commands. And first of all, we are going to try to uh, create a C program and we are going to compile this program using the GCC command. So for this, we are going to write a very simple C code. And for this, we need to create a C file, right? I'm going to go to the documents folder and here I'm going to create a directory called C apps for example and then press enter which is going to create this uh, directory and now I'm going to go inside this directory and here I want to create a C file. To create a C file you can use this command which is touch then the name of the file will be test and the extension will be .c and then I'm going to press enter which is going to create a C file. To verify if the C file is created, you can write ls here and you can see this test.c file is available here. Now let me open the folder explorer also so that uh, we can see the changes side by side in the folder explorer also. So I'm going to go to my documents folder and then C apps folder and you can see the C file is available here. Now in order to open the C file, you can right click on this uh, test.c file and then you can click on open with text editor or in your terminal, you can write open test.c and then press enter, which is going to open the C file. So you can see the C file is open. Here I'm going to write a very simple uh, C program. This C program you can find anywhere on internet. So just uh, Paste this program into your C file and then you can save this file. To save this file, click on this menu icon and then click on save or press control save. 
once the c file is saved we are going to go to our terminal let me clear the terminal once again and to compile your c program you need to give this command so to compile your c program give this command in your directory where your c file is there right so my c file is available and i'm in the the same directory where my c file is available so just write gcc space the name of the file in our case the name of the file is test.c space hyphen o and then space the name of the binary you want to generate once your compilation is finished so i'm going to just uh, give the name of the binary as test itself so hyphen o flag is for providing the name of the binary output so let me press enter here and once i press enter you can see this test binary is created once my c program is compiled now i can run this binary file by just uh, typing dot forward slash test and then press enter and it prints hello world because in my code i was printing hello world so i can open the c program again and you can see we were printing here hello world now let's say i remove the semicolon from here and then save the c program this means that i have introduced some kind of error so that at the time of compilation it's going to throw an error so let me just close this file and let me give this gcc command to compile the c program again and this time it's going to give me the error and now you can see uh, the details of the error also so here i can see the error is on fourth line and it says expected semicolon before return so it's going to show me the exact location of error so that i can resolve this error by going to the file and once again uh, adding the semicolon or whatever error you are facing you can resolve it and once again compile your program so once again let me give this command and this time the output is created and then once again i can run this c program using this dot forward slash test right so test is the name of your binary and it's the output of your test.c program compilation so this is how you can run your c program using gcc command